Greetings and salutations you guys, it's Hayden here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I just got in the car, it's a beautiful sunshiny day. We're gonna head over to the post office. I have some stuff that I have to drop off to the person that helps me do my packaging um, because I got some people that ordered multiple items and I had like one thing they had the other so doing the drop offs they can all be just mailed together uh, to make it easier. And then we were probably going to head over to the Goodwill just really quick on the way back. But I have a ton of stuff to do today. I also, oh, I also need to go to, um, where was I going to go? To the dry cleaners, which will be on the way back home. Because I need to drop off that Chanel dress that I thrifted the, uh, like last week. Last week went. Last week went. Uh, last weekend. Oh, I think it was on Friday actually. So it was just a few days ago. But I thrifted that Chanel dress. It had that little stain that was like right here. A mom helped me try to get it out, but there's like a little bit still right there. So I feel like it would be okay to like invest the money in it to try and get it removed further, or if not completely. So I'll see. I don't know. I'll bring it over there and see what they say. But mom did a pretty good job. Actually, let me see if I. Oh, it's in the back. I'll show you guys later. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, here is the dress, and here is the stain. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm going to go bring it in and see if they can get it out, and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. I just got to the Goodwill. It's going. I still have that mirror that I kind of like. This chair is really cute, too. And 40s. All this furniture. Oh, let's do the bag. Oh, this one's kind of cute. It's kind of dirty though. Forever 21. Little red bag. Nirvana. Little Mickey Mouse bag. Target bag. The sack. Oh, I am seeing. Oh, they have so much chance on the table. This little thing is still here at 70 bucks. It's so cute. See if there's anything else. We oh, this bench is pretty cool. We have that old coffee table. 180. Is this leather? Mm, no, I think it's leather. It will hit the road on it right there, but. Hmm. Interesting. This is a really cute outdoor piece, too. Hmm, that keeps some back cookies. This is cute, too. That's a cute furniture piece. Look at this one. I know this one's missing like the back piece, but that's a um, studio Mickey for Target chair. We have this Super Mario Kart thing. Another one right there. They have some little world out stuff. Pop figurines. Ooh, I bought something like this for Eliza. He loves that thing. He plays with it all the time. Ooh, this is cute. Why do I like the color of this? It's just plastic though. There's also this cute shell. This would be so cute like on a dresser or something. You put like your jewelry or whatever inside. It's pretty. I love stuff like this. Do you guys want me, I, should I pick up stuff like this more often? Like, should I buy this actual piece? It's really pretty. Oh, these little glass things are cute too. I wonder if they have like any make on them. Mmm, nope, looks like they don't. If they had a sticker, they're missing, but they're cute. I love the color on them. Oh, this is so cute with a little chicky. Alright, what's on this side? Oh, they still have those little flower petals. 
So I never did find the piece that goes to those. It's supposed to be like some sort of ashtray that's in the shape of a flower. But I never found the part that's like the middle that everything attaches to. Those blue glass vase things are pretty interesting. So those little glass Christmas trees. Oh man, they have so many of these foldable chairs. Definitely beach season. We have Na 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 Surprise. Never seen those. Interesting. Of course, some air fryers, coffee machines, roasters. So this thing is so cute. It's like a little trinket tray. It's also Lennox, so I checked underneath. But it's really pretty, right? There's also this. That's from like all the This thing is cool too, but it's expensive for the two. This fish terrain is awesome. I also kind of like this. The candles. Yeah, there's so many cute things. What am I gonna do? This is interesting. I want to do like a home decor, like drop of like stuff that I love. Would you guys be interested in something like that? I'm feeling like the home decor vibes right now. Especially with spring, I just want to decorate everything with flowers. And it would be so fun to just do like a home decor kind of... Like, would you guys like a home decor lifestyle? I think that would be so fun. Do you guys see that little ceramic ass? This is so cute. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is cute too. A little plate, you can also use it as a spoon rest. Oh, it's from Sorlatan. Jacques Pepin for Sorlatan. It's adorable. Okay. It's like a crystal glass stuff. Ground fire blood. Ooh. Little owls. Uh, I hate when you can't eat off of the plate. Little Opal House plate. So many decorative plates. I like a bunch of them. Oh, these are pretty like, little gold rimmed plates, classic gold. These plastic? Yeah, this is plastic. Those are interesting. Oh, this is literally the soapy sofa that we have at the house. Ours isn't like stuck up the soap that well anymore, so I'm like, should I get a new one? Or is it just gonna happen again? I mean, I've had the other one for like maybe four or five years so maybe it's time for a new one i want to upgrade it to a good one i mean i do love the look of this one but maybe i should just pick up another one but they're eight bucks a little part oh wait does it come with this thing i like this thing this is cute project 62 this is from like target this is some nice too what does this say for decorative use only, threshold tray. This is pretty. So I do like this one. It's like a nice simple white for the silk. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to think on that. It would be cute to have like a whole set, but... Like this. It's a pretty print. It's like watercolory. Oh, I like this too. Look at the borders. Pioneer Woman, of course. Alright, let's go back to the crystal stuff that I neglected to look at. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, this is so pretty. I like that print. How much is this one? $12.99. Hot baby dog. That's expensive. 
Ooh, this is pretty too. I like the color of this. $4.99. That's a pretty color also. Just found a Starbucks New York mug. Um, I guess they sell for 24 38 24 That's like the general consensus price. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of Starbucks mugs today actually, because here's another one. Starbucks coffee. There's that one. There's this Starbucks. There's any others. Maybe even an anthropology mug. Oh, look at this Starbucks cup. This is pretty too. Made in. Oh, this is you in Made in USA. In Starbucks. Double dead. Double the caffeine. These are also really pretty glass color, this green. Ooh, and also this blue is nice. This glass is cute also. Oh, it says this one. It's fancy. Is that the lion from Madagascar? Ooh, this is nice. Wait a minute, this is like actually like legit nice. It's five ninety nine. Can I put this? Interesting. There's like two of them. You can like put cookies on here. This is interesting. Large key cool looking thing. Ooh, crystal. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. Or for Sweden. Oh, it's broken right there. What a bummer. It's really pretty. This brush is really nice. I'm very into this organizer with drawer thing. It's $9.99. Ooh, oh, this basket is pretty nice. I think this is one of those stackable baskets. Are there any more? Yeah, these, but no. You don't spot any hydro flasks for Yetis up there. There are some cast iron pans. I still have this thing. Still thinking about it. I want to use it under like in my bathroom under screen cabinet thing. But I don't know. It might not actually fit in there. Because I have some I actually don't think it's gonna fit. I think probably put this back. How pretty is this mirror, you guys? It's like so cool. It's like heavy. It doesn't have a make or anything, but it has like this cool bug on it. What do you guys think? $13 though. Plus it's like a written on the back, but I don't know, it's really cool. You guys, look how cute this is. It says I can't live without books. Thomas Jefferson to John Adams, 1815. Do I need this? Like I don't, but like it's cute. It's $2, but I'm not gonna get it. You guys, they have one of these rolling things. I need this in my life. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. If you hear any sounds in the back, it's literally mom cooking. cooking. What are you making, mom? Mm -hmm. Let's let's show you guys mom. This She's over the... there this doing the... mom stuff, <laughs> making all the food. Making she has like food. stuff right there. I'm just going to make a stir fry. She's making a stir fry. But I want to show you guys what I got from 
the thrift. So, okay. First of all, ooh, okay, this is actually for mom. These are more Cricut pens. Ah! But instead of black, these are metallic. So it comes in gold, Where's silver, and metallic. I already gave it to you, but I don't know where you put it. You had it. I gave it to you. Gotcha. Yeah, I gave it to you. It's like in your room. I gave it to you. <laughs> I gave them to her, but she's lost them already. But uh, got these little Cricut Joy pens for $4.99. They go inside your Cricut. Then you can use them to draw. Though I think you can use any pen, can't you? No. Really? I thought you could use any. Anyway, got the pens. But I think this is for the Cricut Joy. Maybe you can only use one kind of pen. Maybe the one that you have can use any pen. But I just got these anyway. So we got them. They're $4.99. Ooh, then for my sweet little angels, my, my three nephews, they're going to fight over this because I got this Super Mario remote controller for... There, what is this called? For the Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah, they're definitely gonna fight over it because they all love Mario. And Eliza's probably gonna win because he's the bossiest one. But I got this the boss baby. for only $9.99. So hot diggity dog, this one was a cheap one. So hopefully it works. I'm pretty sure it does. So it's a wired remote and the kids are gonna love it. So very excited about that, that was a fun find. Um, what else are we gonna do? Okay, next, I found this Kappa belt bag. It's the one with like the two girls sitting back to back. Like this brand is like really cool and trendy right now. It's also like on the part that goes around your waist. Just like a nice, easy little belt bag. Nothing too crazy. Um, I guess the size medium because I think that's like the length of the uh, part that goes around your waist. The belt, the belt portion. And how much was this? Did I take off the price? Oh, no, here it is. Um, this one was $5.99. Beautiful. Oh, okay, then I got this. Maybe, I don't know if Yasmin will fit in these. But I found what these size? Mark Jacobs pantaloons. They are black and stretchy, but they have these cool like studs that go on the sides. What size is these that? are cute, right? Well, there's a size four. She might fit in them, but they might be a little big, but it depends. So it might fit her, it might not. She'll have to try them on. But they're really nice. They look like they're brand new. And they were only $11.49. So I thought these were a really good deal. They're a little linty, but like they don't look like they've been worn at all. There's like no rubbing or anything on the fabric. And the fabric feels really nice. It's not like a denim. It's some sort of like stretchy material, which... Uh, I really like it. It feels really good. So, got those. We'll see if Yasin will try them on later. And if she does, I'll show you guys. Ooh, okay, this is another really cute thing that I found. This one is a little Herschel belt bag. I've been finding all the belt bags recently. And this is in like a, like a rose-colored velvet. Mom, look at this color. Isn't this like your favorite color? It's like oh, old gosh. rose. This is mom's fave, and you can like wear it like across like your chest like this, which is like, ooh, this is actually cute. Like, look, mom, against like a black. Yes. See, very cute. This was only seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Love Herschel bags; they're always really nice. And this one has like a cool little like belty loopy thing. Maybe you can attach stuff to this, like maybe like a camera or something. It could be a little hands-free. So then this one is a bag that mom really likes. It's a really cute Charles and Keith bag. This is a vegan leather. I love the shape and silhouette and the color. And it's so new. Look at that. It's like brand new. It has this cute little top handle. You can carry it like this in your hand. And then it also does have the removable and adjustable crossbody straps. You can wear it crossbody. This is such a beautiful color, you guys. I really, really like it. Um, it also does have this middle zipper compartment as well, which is nice, which you can actually take out. So it's like a it's removable pouch, not a middle zipper divider. And then the inside is just like this large opening. It does have a magnetic snap, so you can close it like that. But um, yeah, 
It looks like origami inside. I love it. And the removable pouch is nice. It's like two for one. You can use it inside the pouch or you can remove it and use it as like a makeup bag or whatever else your heart desires. But this bag is really, really cute. Charles and Keith. I think I... Wait, where's the... Is the price still on this one? Oh, yeah. Inside. Um... The price on this one was $7.99. It was on the leather, but I took it off. Because I didn't want to like make any weird marks on the full leather. On the vegan leather. So, there we go. Charles and Keith. I've been finding a lot of really cute Charles and Keith bags recently. And I don't normally like to pick up like the I vegan leather. The, uh, the vegan leather bags. But the Charles and Keith ones, they're made of like a really nice um, faux leather. So I, I will pick them up now, I think, if I see like really cute styles. Because I did get a yellow one not too long ago and it was super duper cute. The mom is cooking over there. Hopefully it's not too loud. But we'll see post-production. Okay, so then... Okay, I found this vintage coach bag. I don't remember if this is the Willis or what the name is. But vintage coach. This one is made in... I think it's made in either... USA. Oh, yeah. Made in USA. And I think Ooh. someone messed up when they were trying to fix it up. Because I think they used shoe polish instead of shoe dye. But I'm not 100% certain. But, um, bag is still beautiful regardless. I think I need to, like, try and remove the polish that they they possibly put on. And just redo it. But the bag was only $7.99. It's a beautiful bag. These bags are like a favorite for like handbag collectors and the Made in USA coach bags are the best. Right mom? Yes. Mom loves them. Yes. Okay then up next but wait there's more. This one is a fossil satchel. Um, black fossil satchel, removable adjustable crossbody strap, top handles. This one is in great condition. Um, black with two exterior little side zipper pockets which is fantastic the interior has one zipper pocket two built-in pockets and then it has built-in card slots as well which is really nice this bag was $15 it's written right there and then I think there's a sticker yeah the sticker is right there as well $15 it's a great great bag I love this style and silhouette timeless and goes with anything you can use this for every day you can use it for work you can use it for school or travel it's the perfect size and it's pretty lightweight so it's not going to weigh you down even if you have a ton of stuff inside which is always a plus look at this mom this one's cute this is like your style like this is the kind of style bag you like oh yeah yeah this one's a fossil what is that fossil, fossil. yeah <laughs> mom's shopping Oh, mom, show them. Try it on. You're a model. to shop first before you guys. I like this. Right? Look at it. Show them over here. Oh, cute. Yeah, that's a cute. This is, this is like your style. Like that yeah. kind of size and the shape. I think I need this. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> All right. Up next. We have a couple more. Since we're doing vintage right now, let's do this vintage Dooney and Burke. So we have the vintage Dooney and Burke all weather leather crossbody bag. And this is in like a taupe brown color. And this is in great shape. This one is $8. And these vintage Dooney's hold up as well as the vintage coach ones. This one's also made in USA, has the little taggy tag right there. Um, it is missing the little dongle though, like you know the little duck or the little brass thing. But other than that, this bag is in fantastic vintage condition. Crossbody strap is looking good and this is just the perfect size also for a crossbody bag. And you gotta love that all weather leather. This can brave all the elements. Mom has a bunch of these. I love these were mom's bag when we used to live in New York in the snow, in the rain. She had her yeah. Dooney and Burke all-weather leather handbags, and they have. She still has them to this day. Yeah. She still has them. I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen. You still have a couple. I've seen them in your closet. Yeah. So, beautiful bags. My favorite ones. Those were literally her favorites. Then I have this cute little backpack, and this is by Kenneth. Qu 
Cole reaction. And I got it. I don't normally pick up like Kenneth Cole bags, but like unless they're super duper cute. And this is one of the like one of those really cute bags. It's a tiny little backpack. It has a little zipper back here, which you can get access into the main bag, which is nice. So you don't have to like actually undo this top portion, even though it just does have like a little snap and then also has a drawstring. There's a front zipper pocket right here. And it has like these little like compartment-y things and it looks like these are like pencil pockets. So I guess you can put pencils and stuff in there. And then two exterior like little flap pockets as well that have little snaps. So this bag is super duper cute, super duper tiny, and I know tiny bags are very in right now. I got this one for $9. I think mom's making egg rolls. Yes. Oh, she's, egg rolls mom's going to make a good dinner. I'm so excited. Okay, then up next we have a Hobo International bag. You guys, Hobo International is such a great band. They're known um, more specifically for their wallets, but their bags are also really nice. They're well made. The leathers they use are amazing. And this one is no exception. So this is a nice crossbody bag. There is a great back pocket right here for easy access to uh, if you want to put your phone in there or your keys. Then in the front, there are two open pockets and then it opens up to this main compartment. Look at that interior lining. The fabric is really pretty. The design is gorgeous. There's um, a zipper pocket and then there's three open pockets as well. So there's lots of compartments in there. Nice and easy to... Um, Keep all your things. And this one was only $8. So excited. I haven't found so many bags at the store in so long, but they had some good ones. So very excited about this Hobo International bag. Really cute. Mom's looking at it. She's like, what is that? I want it. And then, I think this is the last item from the haul. Okay, last but not least, we have one more Hobo International bag. And the color on this one is beautiful. It's a beautiful mustard yellow color i love the design on there if you can see it on the front it's like different like it's like all stitched together to make like that really cool design and the strap is beautiful mom's looking the strap is really nice right mom it's like a it's not beaded but i don't even like can't even explain it but it's really pretty um you can't really wear a crossbody because it's kind of high. I kind of like how high it is. But it's definitely a shoulder bag or you can attach a longer strap to this if you wanted. And then you can wear it crossbody after you attach that. But there is still a really great functional back pocket right here. And the interior is, I think this is actually from the same year the other coach bag, or the other hobo bag was made. Because I think they change out the fabrics that they have inside every year or like every season, something like that. And it's the same beautiful like blue with like the floral kind of pattern. Um, it has the one zipper pocket and then it has three open pockets and it also has like a smaller kind of pocket right there in the corner for like pens or like a, a lipstick or something they can pop in there but this bag is in fantastic shape as well it's such good condition it still has like the little wrapping like plastic wrapper thing on the hardware right there and it's definitely ready for a new home it's gorgeous love hobo international and it has these really fun tassels which give it movement and i really like the bag so you can carry it like that on your shoulder and it's really really cute so that is going to end today's video hope you guys had fun today if you guys did please give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to say hi down below in the comments especially if you guys are new to the channel welcome we're so happy to have you guys here mom is super excited she's gonna cook egg rolls for you guys if you subscribe <laughs> and give the video a thumbs up don't forget to tune in for the rest of the week i have new videos going up every single day the new one goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m i love you guys so much i'll see you guys all in the next one all right bye